And, uh, you know, looking in at me, saying, "Who the hell moved into you? Yeah. You know, why? It's like someone turned the life meter off." Just yeah. yeah. It's, it's just a time that you have to go through what you have to go through. So fess up and face it. Yeah, and that's it. You know, be careful what you ask for, because you may get it. Yep, and absolutely, it was, absolutely. And it was uh, it was Sinanana's video. She's got posted this, Janie. Yes. When she came to you, I, it was her video that I watched. That that was that's, that's me. That that's exactly what. You know, and and, and my experience is, is I'm going through, so I need I need to contact. And I kept being drawn back to your site, doing a little more research, and said, so, well, you know, I'd heard of Kundalini, and then I realized, in retrospect, well, this is what happened in childhood. This is what happened when I was 20. This is, okay, that explains what happened when I was 30, 32. It's kind of been like this. It just emerges and quiets down because I adjust to it. Mm -hmm. And then emerges again a little harder and then quiets down. I've adjusted and a, a different lifestyle, a different path. And then even though I've never had any religious and path. it has nothing to do with religious right. dogma. Absolutely right. nothing. You know, in fact, you, this is the farthest thing from yes. religious dogma. Well, and you make that clear, and that's that's why when I spent the days that I could, where I could stay on internet day and night, listening to all your videos and mm -hmm. satsangs, and this, 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 you know, I just knew deep down, this is the one because I knew deep down I didn't want to become a Buddhist. I didn't want to become really deep down what. There is not, and you say in the end, it's it's not. It's a path for when you need it, and then you cross that bridge, mm -hmm. and then that's well, it like, for those know, who need it, who it, want it, and this, desire it. This is why we try to make it as open as possible for people. And you know, we people always want to put it in a box. Well, are you Hindu? Are you Buddhist? Whatever. And sometimes we say Buddhist. Sometimes we say Hindu. But it's really none. It's it's really that that truth that runs like a thread through all religious persuasions. Yet it's not touched by any of them. It's none of that dogmatic stuff. It's that ultimate truth, that one truth that they all come from. You know, what is that absolute? What is that, you know, that spark of divine, you know, being? What is that, you know? And that's the ultimate truth of it, you know? And everybody has the same spark of life in them. I don't give a rat's ass what you want to call it. Hindu, <laughs> Buddhist, I don't care. It doesn't matter what you want to call or if you want to call God all, or you want to call right. it, you know, Yahweh, doesn't matter. It's not something separate, you know. It's not some big man sitting up there with a stick waiting to beat you over the head with it. You know, when you finally get to that point, you find out what, what God is and what God's not. It's just like, you know, wow. Wow, it's, it's never what one thinks. It's so simple, so easy, so profound. Right. You right. know? The profound part. So is, profound. Is that, that sits so deep here, and you just you keep wanting to. Yeah, so it just find blows it, out. It. it blows out all that conditionings, all that stuff immediately when you finally come to that point and everything has fallen away, and that's all that's right there, blank, in your face. You can't you deny it. Undeniable. Absolutely undeniable. And that's why it makes such a, a profound thing. And then one at that point really can't go back and say, oh, Buddha, Buddhism is the only answer, or Hinduism is the only answer, or this is the only answer, or Christianity, or, you know, at that point then you see the universality of it, you know. And you can understand where the various religions were going with it, where they were trying to go, where they were trying to segue. But then you see how it became so confounded and dumbed down the further they got away from the one that was trying to bring that truth, and how it became occluded with all the dogma and the rhetoric and, you know, people trying to box it in and, you know, so that the Control mental... It. Yeah, and the mental intellectual drama could be understood. And it's never about that intellectual drama. But they keep creating more and more and more surrounding it. Forever so moving it away lost. from the simplicity of it. Right, right. Making it complex. Right. Which is man's because, nature. Yes, because man likes to have that complexity and think gets so something to mind. It. Yeah, so mind has something to chew on again. Another hamster wheel.
and exclusiveness, you know. Yeah, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> that's, that's exactly it. Cuckoo. Of course, none of them have the correct time. <laughs> but there are there are plenty of plenty of cuckoo clocks in here. Come to think of it. <laughs> But that's that's about it for the dogmatic religion, you know, cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> you get something so simplistic and profound, and it becomes so occluded and so, you know, just what happened, you know, to the beauty of it, gets lost in in the drama and boxes they try to put it in. Yeah. Well, that's what makes your path so. So appealing and realistic because you know, are forthright and in, in your conviction that the, the points you make of, of just what you said. Because when you know when I came to you and the mind jumps in and says, "Well, you know, she's Buddhist and you're not and you don't want to," and, <laughs> and you say, "Well, no, this is this is the Zen. This is and this." Well, once again, but put the mind and all that to ease and just follow the heart and, and trust and know that you're going crazy but it's okay it's part of the path <laughs> that's the biggie well as long as you think you're going crazy you're not that's the good news <laughs> if you're really going crazy you have no clue that you're going crazy you're just out there okay so yeah as long as you think you're going crazy you're, you're quite fine <laughs> Well, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you oh, very much. Welcome. Thank you for Glad breakfast. to have you here. You're welcome. It was so good. <laughs> well, y'all become professionals at crab picking now, so oh, I and we'll make you. a crab rat out of you <laughs> after all. Crab picking and grits in the morning. I tell you what, it, it was so good. So good. And and what was that? Hoe cakes? Hoe cakes. Hoe cakes. Hoe cakes. <laughs> and uh, syrup. <laughs> Maple syrup. 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 Okay. Hoe so. cakes and syrup. Okay. Yeah, One was, syllable. Syrup. Was, yeah, it was good stuff. So, yeah. Enjoyed okay. it. So, namaste. Namaste. Namaste.